Since starting this foundation project, I've learned an incredible amount about different technologies and feel that my skills in those technologies have developed significantly. Let's start with Blogger, the hub if you like for my work over the past few weeks and months. I've never blogged before and to be honest I didn't really know what to expect, but after spending much of my time posting updates about it, my media work, I've really grown to appreciate its innovative features. It allows you to post images, text, video and it's extremely easy to use. After creating several posts, I feel that the quality of my posts improved with many more links, much more interactivity and a greater use of video and high quality images. I even experimented with pages and created a behind the themes section for my group's work consisting of images and links to some shots of us filming our productions. The site has provided me with a lot of blogging skills that I will take into the second year of this course. My crammer work has improved too. After the immediate GCSE I can now look back and take great pride in the great length that my shots have become. Even since the prelim things have improved in an art thriller I put 110% effort into ensuring that the framing was accurate and most importantly the camera wasn't canted. Setting up the tripod correctly and ensuring that the group agreed with the shot was one of the contributing factors in ensuring that the shots in our thriller were much more better than our prelim. Also in our prelim we never used that many different variety of shots. So in our thriller we took a great leap in length we were prepared to go and as a result moved in a lot more closer to the faces of our characters. In addition to this I also feel that I have got to know the camera a lot better and have also learnt the importance of using white balance as before this year I never really knew how much difference it could make to the quality of, our, of your work. I've also learnt how effective a sound recorder is. To start taking one out in our prelim task we never actually used it. However through much of the audio editing stage of our thriller task it was a great use and recording a selection of foley sounds which wouldn't have sound as authentic if we had just used the diegetic sound within our footage. My lighting skills have also developed. Looking back at our preliminary task, lighting could have been used far more effectively and some shots as a result came out looking quite dull. Whereas in our thriller opening we controlled the lighting far more effectively, we used bin liners to reduce lighting within the garage and used the lighting to show emphasis on Curtis, our victim. I've also learned the accuracy that, you, that lighting can give to add greater effect to things and as a result create a greater sense of darkness and suspense. I can also leave this AAS year feeling that my editing skills have improved, both visual and audio. I now feel more comfortable using Final Cut Pro and have developed new skills which may allow me to create much sharper cuts between clips to build pace and as a well I have been able to create much more cohesive titling. For me, my sound editing capabilities have improved so much. It was hard to find tracks to suit the mood and genre of our opening production, but in the end we compiled a piece, adding an eerie and sadistic feel to our thriller opening, making it much more effective in building suspense and tension. I learned that you could change the pitch and tempo of sound clips as well as being able to fade out and back in sound within a few clicks. The use of the Foley sounds in our soundtrack also allowed us to add greater emphasis on actions. All, all this I don't think would not have been achieved a few months ago. If you look back at our prelim there was no soundtrack, no non-diegetic sound, instead just the diegetic sound which made our production feel extremely dull and at times boring. For me my main feeling with sound is that it provides an essential part in creating a great production and is just also, and is an important part in it as much as video editing. Despite not being able to use a Mac before, I feel that I can navigate a lot more easily than before this year. And as a result, it will provide me with much greater accessibility in the second year of the course. Through this course, I've also learned how useful Facebook can be in gathering feedback. Every person who falls under our demographic has Facebook, and as a result, we utilise its features to interact with our audience. By creating a group consistent of specific members, we were able to create polls and ask questions which will give us a greater understanding of how our audience felt about our film. It was also incredibly useful in early planning to find out where people would like to see our thriller film, and as a, as a result, the overwhelming consensus influenced our 
decision to film in the garage. I finally learnt the importance in keeping a regular Twitter feed. I'm a tweeter in real life, like away from me, like away from media studies. So I was totally up for our group getting one. By, play, by playing my part in posting regular updates, I feel that we embrace the social media that is so apparent in our lives these, in the current day and age. And in many ways, these days, if something is aiming to be professional, then the Twitter feed is a contributing factor in creating this professional image. All in all, I'm overwhelmed by the amount that I have learnt this year and know that it will provide me with a good base to make a productive start to my second year of media studies.